If Kwame could feel some kind of love, could Kwame's also have little ones? If you're curious about this question, stay tuned for more in my favorite show. The process of reproduction is one of the characteristics of nature to keep all species away from extinction, as this is the most natural and effective way for living beings, whether they're animals, insects, fish, or even humans. But does this reproductive process also apply to Kwame's? I already know the answer, but before revealing it, let's theorize what the pregnancy of this magical being and the growth of its offspring would be like, starting with the question, which of the Kwamis would become pregnant? It might sound silly to ask this, since the most obvious answer would be that the Kwame would be responsible for the baby in its womb, right? Well, back in 2019, ZAG released a book titled Kwame Book. This book presented the main characteristics of these cosmic beings and even mentioned the gender of each one, indicating that Trix and Dusu were male Kwamis, while Long and others were female. However, ZAG released a second edition of this book in 2022, removing all parts that mentioned the genders of these beings, suggesting they might not have a gender identity like us in this universe. This means we could see either Plague or Tiki pregnant. After the birth of a baby Kwame, it might be necessary to create a miraculous for the little magical being, since it's through the jewels that humans can interact with these creatures. But there's a potential issue, using the jewel of a baby Kwame might fail, lending the being's powers to this human as the little one would still be with its premature magic. Or maybe the bearer might act like the little one, throwing tantrums and fooling around like a child, since it's just a baby. Imagine how this situation would look in a hero battle. Moreover, what would be the feeding of this little creature? Would it only feed on milk and liquids like a normal baby, or would it try to eat everything in sight like the giant titan? Perhaps the magical being would develop a taste for the same foods as its parents, for example, if the baby Kwame belonged to Tiki and Plague, the little one would feed both on sugary sweets like cakes, pies, galettes, and of course, the famous macarons, along with the creamy and appetizing camembert cheese. Imagine the cost of a pile of cheeses and sweets for the baker's parents, pour them. Speaking of food, what about the sleep of this little one? Would they sleep with their parents when night falls, or would they have nearly infinite energy? As we know, these magical beings need to rest after their bearer uses the powers and they're miraculous. However, if you've ever interacted with a baby or lived alongside one, you know very well that these little creatures have energy to spare. And with Kwamis, it wouldn't be different, as it would require the presence of a bearer to spend all its energy until the little one felt exhausted and went to rest, also giving a moment of peace to mommy and daddy. But if the bearer used the miraculous of a baby Kwame excessively, the little one could get so tired that it might fall ill, developing a severe fever or even what would happen if this baby went without a bearer and was left out in the rain or snow for a long time, the baby would get cold and in more severe cases, even come down with the flu. But traditional medicines wouldn't solve its health problem, a guardian of miraculous would be needed to cure it, as we saw in the Princess Fragrance episode of the first season of the series, when Tiki became quite sick and needed the help of a healer to recover her health. Marinette rushed to Wang Fu's refuge, who at the time didn't even know who he was, so that the old man could read Ladybug's energies and cure her. The same would apply to the baby Kwame couple, and since the ancient Wang Fu is no longer in his guardian role, Wang Fu could take on this task, or perhaps even Luca himself, since the young man had a special training to become a guardian of Miraculous. Our possibilities on how the development of a baby Kwame would unfold are many and would surely cause a tremendous headache not only for the couple of Kwamis but also for their bearers. However, even though it was fun to imagine the possibility of these creatures having little ones, is it really possible for Kwamis to have children in Miraculous Ladybug? The answer is no, it is practically impossible for Kwamis to have babies. The reason is quite simple, these creatures are divine beings created from an abstract idea or an emotion like love, beauty, destruction, happiness, fear, etc. Thus, for there to be a new Kwame in the world, an emotional or abstract concept must exist for the creation of this being, and all of this is explained in one of the miraculous Ladybug comics. But as ideas and feelings aren't concrete things, meaning they can't be seen or touched by humans, miraculous would need to be created for that being to become possible. Quite interesting, isn't it? Maybe at this very moment, several Kwamis are traveling through the universe, waiting for the moment when they can have their own jewels and own bearers. But what if it were possible? Would the baby Kwame look more like its father or more like its mother? If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, which helps us a lot to bring more miraculous content. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.